In patients with sickle cell disease, abnormal hemoglobin polymerizes when deoxygenated, forming the characteristic sickle-shaped erythrocytes. Abnormal polymerization, along with adhesion of leukocytes and sickled erythrocytes to the endothelium, causes vascular obstruction and tissue ischemia, leading to painful crises. P-selectin functions as a cell adhesion molecule that initiates leukocyte adhesion, mediates abnormal rolling and adhesion of sickled erythrocytes, and binds neutrophils to activated platelets, all contributing to vaso-occlusion. Crizanlizumab is a humanized monoclonal antibody that blocks binding to P-selectin. The Phase II multicenter SUSTAIN study enrolled 198 patients with sickle cell disease who had from 2 to 10 sickle-related pain crises a year at baseline and randomized them to high-dose crizanlizumab, low-dose crizanlizumab, or placebo for 52 weeks. The primary outcome was the annual rate of sickle cell-related pain crises, including acute chest syndrome, hepatic and splenic sequestration, and priapism in the high-dose crizanlizumab group as compared with the placebo group. The rate was 1.63 episodes per year in the high-dose crizanlizumab group and 2.98 in the placebo group. The rate in the high-dose but not low-dose crizanlizumab group was significantly lower than the rate with placebo. Analysis of secondary outcomes found that the median time to first and second pain crises was significantly longer in the high-dose crizanlizumab group than in the placebo group. The majority of patients reported at least one adverse event, including headache, back pain, nausea, and arthralgias, but adverse events were no more frequent with active treatment than with placebo. The authors conclude that treatment with the P-selectin inhibitor crizanlizumab significantly reduced the frequency of sickle cell-related pain crises. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.